Welcome to my final part of the Force Awakens analysis. I was planning to do this section with my previous video, but that video was too long to add this onto, so this will be a shorter video today concluding the analysis. Today, I'm examining the music in the film. Since the first Star Wars film was released, John Williams' score had set the stage for each installment in the Star Wars franchise to have iconic scores. Across each movie in the Skywalker saga, there has been at least one iconic track, but for the most part, more. A New Hope had the binary sunset, The Empire Strikes Back had the Imperial March, Return of the Jedi had the Emperor's theme, The Phantom Menace had the Duel of the Fates, Attack of the Clones had Across the Stars, and Revenge of the Sith had Battle of the Heroes. Now, The Force Awakens had a lot to live up to in regards to music, and it did. The score of this movie is for the most part great. There are a few forgettable tracks, but many iconic ones. The best tracks from the album are March of the Resistance, Kylo Ren Arrives at the Battle, and The Jedi Steps. Musical cues are also well done in this movie, with Darth Plagueis' theme playing during the scenes with Snoke. It acts as a hint to the true origins and identity of Snoke, which is yet to be confirmed. The Force theme is also used during powerful moments, such as when Rey uses the Force to pull Luke's lightsaber to herself. Some may argue that the Force theme itself is used too often in this film, taking away its importance. I understand this point, but it hasn't bothered me yet. What is arguably the best track in this film is Kylo Ren Arrives at the Battle. It is essentially Kylo Ren's theme. The same way the Imperial March was Vader's, and the Duel of the Fates was Darth Maul's. As such, it is the perfect track for Kylo. Its obvious similarities to the Imperial March reflects his character's desire to be like Vader. The track itself acts as one build-up to a crescendo of brass instruments, blaring out deep long notes, resonating with audiences. It's a menacing track that lets audiences know that danger is approaching. The second best track of the score is more so great because of the scene it is a part of. The Jedi Steps is a soothing score with hints towards the Force theme whilst being different enough to warrant its use. Its soft nature, use of harps, flutes and more build a sense of wonder as a reveal of Luke occurs. As the score fades, the binary sunset theme comes in and fulfills the scene's job of bringing back the essence of Luke Skywalker, with a sense of wonder as to what our hero has been doing for the past 30 years. The final track to discuss is Rey's theme. This is not a bad theme, but over time I realised that the essence of the track is very similar to that of Harry Potter and other young adult film scores. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it takes away from the track. It is a heartwarming track which focuses on its soft but uplifting tone. The track also promotes a sense of wonder as the tones and melody of the track vary throughout it. The meaning behind the track reflects that of Rey in a powerful way. It starts off quiet and over time it builds even louder, similarly to how Rey starts off on a backwards planet but finds herself in places she's never been before, becoming a key component of the story. The score ends by returning to its quiet sound, representing how Rey may have gone on a journey but her core essence is still present. She's found herself in a bigger story, myths and legends of what she knew are true. It acts somewhat humbling, especially as she ends the film before a legendary Jedi Knight. Those are the only tracks I wish to focus on for this video, as the others are either simple or standard scores. The March of the Resistance, as I mentioned earlier as being a good track, is a complex one that is, as the title says, reminiscent of a march. Every track serves its purpose, adding an extra layer to the film itself. Overall, the score for The Force Awakens is what fans could have hoped for from a Star Wars film. Iconic tracks are present, whilst other tracks are standard, placing The Force Awakens score within the middle of all of the Star Wars films. That brings my analysis of The Force Awakens to a close. If you haven't seen my other parts yet, check them out with the links in the description down below. I discuss writing, character, and action in each of them. Also remember to like and share this video, leave a comment down below on what film you would like me to analyze next and support me on my Patreon account. I'll see you all in my next video.